Hey guys, it's Firefly Carry bringing you a new series on the channel. Top 10 favorite Pokemon. This is what we're starting out with. It will soon be a, just a top 5. But for the first episode, I say we kick it off with top 10. And these are my top 10 favorite Pokemon. If you do not care for them, then leave your own in the comments below but these are my top 10 favorite pokemon some are just different different reasons why i like these pokemon so without further ado let's get it started coming in at number 10 is the one and the only eevee the whole reason eevee is on this list one, it's adorable. Yes, its stats are horrible. But, you gotta think. Eevee evolves into not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, but eight different types of Pokemon. Counting its original form, it is nine different types. Eevee, of course, is normal. Vaporeon, Water, Jolteon, Electric, Flareon, Fire, Espeon, Psychic, Umbreon, Psy uh, Umbreon is Dark, Leafeon, Grass, Glaceon, Ice, Sylveon, the newest, is Fairy. I mean, this little, this little guy has so much potential to be so many different things. And honestly... Eevee, evolutions, they are so wickedly awesome. And this is why Eevee is coming in at number 10. So coming in at number 9 is Squirtle. Now, Squirtle is one of the best starters in Generation 1, in my opinion. Mostly because... War Turtle, Blastoise, and then now Mega Blastoise. Squirtle, for me, is my very, very first Pokemon. I, that was the one I chose when Pokemon Blue came out. And Squirtle was just there on my team. All the way from Squirtle, all the way to Blastoise. Was there on my team until I beat the champion. So, this is one reason why Squirtle had to make this list. Squirtle is coming in at number 9. Coming in at number 8 is the one, the only, Zorark. It's pre-evolution stage, Zora. Zor Zorark here is a beast. The attack is... 105 defense eh, booty but special attack 120 you know this is a good pokemon not to mention it looks wonderful i love its design it is amazing honestly i would love to see what america zorark would look like but until that day happens we got the lovely dark type pokemon zorark now, coming in at number 7 is the one, the only, Alakazam. The reason Alakazam is on this list, it is the original best psychic type Pokemon, in my opinion. Okay. Its pre-evolution stage is Abra and Kadabra. Now, Alakazam is amazing. It was wonderful and broken in Generation 1. Frail but broken. Alakazam, with its speed, could crit after crit after crit. I had one on my team when I first played uh, Pokemon Blue. Alakazam is just plain amazing. Now, it is... It, it was always it was always a funny Pokemon to me because of the spoons. I don't know why, but it just was. 
I, yeah, I don't know. But Alexam had to make this list. It's number seven. Coming in at number six is Rotom. The reason the regular Rotom is on here is because he ha it has so many forms. Heat, Wash, Frost, Fan, Mo. But its original form, Electric Ghost, it is amazing. Yes, I like to use Rotom Wash. It is one of those one of those that is just always always around but Rotom the regular form is in its own right and not to mention it is it's kind of like the same reason I have Eevee on here it can transform into all these different forms so number six Rotom Coming in at number five, Cleft Key. No evolutions, just a base Pokemon. Prankster ability. Hello. T Wave. Plus, it's, it's car keys. I mean, look at it. It's a simple design, but in, in its right. It, it, can, it can be a scary Pokemon. Swagger. T-Wave. I mean. It's. It, it, it can be a scary Pokemon. And now with it still fairy. It has. The fairy type advantage. Of destroying. Those dragon type Pokemon. So that is one reason why Clef Key is number five. Coming in at number four is Tallow. Its evolution stage is Swellow. Now the reason I put Tallow on here instead of Swellow is because it, it is so cute. It is a simple design. It is a simple Pokemon. But it is fast. And it can get through anything once it evolves into Swellow. Swellow is a terrifying Pokemon at times. But Talo, I had to put it on here because it is cute. It is a doll baby. <laughs> and it's one of the first Pokemon, and we are one of the very few first of the the bird Pokemon. I was thinking about putting Pidgey, but Talo made the cut. Okay, so that is Talo at number four. Coming at number three is Gengar. Gengar, however you say it. Pre-evolutions is Ghastly and Haunter. Then it gets a mega evolution, which makes it even more of a scary type, scary Pokemon. It is one of the first and original. It is the original final uh, ghost type Pokemon. You wanted to have a Gengar on your team. You wanted to. You had to trade to get it. If you could find someone to trade with. But you with a Gengar uh, Gengar Alexander Blastoise. Hello? Yes, there's a lot of first-gen Pokemon on here, but I don't care. I'm a first-gen person. And I love, 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 love Gengar. He is amazing. And not to mention, look at the happy face. It is a simple design, but at the same time, it is a interesting design. Nice and simple. That's why Gengar is coming in at number three. Coming in at number two is Garnivore. Pre-evolutions is Ralt and Krilla. Now, it also gets a Mega Evolution. And it sweeps house. It can sweep. You get a few calm minds up. Have a diverse, multi, uh, diverse pool. Moonblast, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. 
you can have many different options with Garnivore. It is a graceful Pokemon. Just, I, I love the way it lo just looks so graceful and so amazing. And it, it, it's a powerhouse. It can be a powerhouse. That is why I have to put Garnivore on this list. It's a, it's a beautiful Pokemon. A beautiful design. Very graceful. But can also sweep house. And coming in at the number one spot is Ninetales. Anyone who knows me should know that this is going to be the number one Pokemon. It's pre-evolution is Vulpix. Ninetales is so beautiful. It is a lovely Pokemon. It is just, it's just amazing. I, I, it's, it's hard for me to put into words, but Drought, Solar Beam, Flamethrower, Ninetales, Morning Sun to get some to get some health back and either protect or you know something like that and Ninetales is wonderful in you you and the shiny version of it you all know that that's my mascot that's my baby Ninetales is my baby I had a Ninetales on my team for fire type you know to cover fire types you know, to, to cover with fire types. And you involve it with the Firestone. Like I said, a lot of Gem 1 Pokemon on here. I don't care. But Ninetales is my favorite Pokemon. Always have, always will be. Yes, if you know me, you know one of my um, favorite types is fairy but my top tier my number one pokemon is nine tails before fairy came out my favorite type was actually a uh, psychic type and that's why nine tails is number one because it is quote unquote my bay i love this pokemon now, if you all enjoy this series, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Not just tell me your top 10 favorite Pokemon, but tell me which top 5 should we do next. Top 5 favorite Kanto Pokemon or favorite Johto Pokemon. You tell me and let me know. This is going to be a weekly thing. And I'm thinking that it's going to come out every Friday or every Saturday. One or the other. Just let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Be good. Stay safe. But always have fun. See you guys later. Bye.